it's your turn. Um, welcome to my sacred space of divine love and healing. It's Chakra Bunny Tarot here. And we're going to dive into your month of October. Okay, it's spooky month, so you know what that means. <clears throat> we are breaking out my doo -doo -doo -doo, beauty of horror tarot. You know, Halloween is my favorite holiday, so... I break out my Beauty of Horror Tarot every October. It's that time. So this will be a general love reading. It's not a twin soul reading, but if it comes out, I'll definitely take it. Um, this is a timeless read. However, whenever you find it, it's for you. Um, but we will be focusing on the energy of October. So, oh gosh, so I forgot to sound cleanse. So give me one second while I do that, Virgo. Okay, so let's dive right in. I feel like this camera's really close to me, so I'm just going to move it over just a bit. So it's not all up my ass. All right, let's go. We're a minute in and I'm already cussing. Look at that. <laughs> I need to stop. All right, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for the beautiful earth sign of Virgo? What does Virgo need to know about their love life for October? We are going to be using the Beauty of Horror Tarot and then the Light Sears for the tarot portion. And then we'll be using the Gypsy Witch and Earth Magic. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Why do these cards feel really... I don't know, Virgo. Your energy feels weird. Like, almost like there's like a something stuck or something it felt like i don't know Ooh, death so we have some changes going on i need to turn this fan on i'm sweating all right so some of y'all might be feeling extra spicy and hot <laughs> the month of october i just got really hot and sweaty all right so we have death wow so we're going through some huge transformations my beautiful virgo <clears throat> well most of the collective is anyways so it's not really a big deal it feels like a big deal so if you're feeling feeling that oh gosh I cannot talk if you're hearing that click click that's just my fan sorry not sorry I need the fan <laughs> I'm dying right now all right hmm so some of you are very uncomfortable with this change <laughs> change is never easy you feel like someone might have left you out in the cold you know sometimes in a twin flame relationship i'm not saying that that's what this is but sometimes in a twin flame relationship you can feel left out in the cold right for your person and it's not like they're purposely trying to ignore you it's they ignore you because you're ignoring something inside of yourself which needs to be changed right like that's why we would get the death card right change <clears throat> yeah wow there's definitely some sort of heartbreak going on so you feel neglected left out in the cold someone has broken your heart recently and you know a lot of the times things like this will happen first of all virgo big hugs because these type of lessons are never easy i have gone through so many of them and so i don't know exactly what it is that you're feeling but i can sort of <clears throat> um I've been there, so I can sort of, you know, extend that feeling of compassion towards you. Sometimes these, these heartbreaks are necessary in order to get us to change the things which need to be changed, right? The lessons have to cut deep so that we can um, become the best versions of ourselves. And sometimes that takes a bit of heartache, right? But you're in the process of learning to manifest what it is that you need and desire in this lifetime, my beautiful Virgo. So <clears throat> while you may have experienced a setback in love, right, moving forward, you will be able to have whoever or whatever it is that you want because you are learning the art of the law of attraction, my beautiful Virgos. So at, after that point, you'll be able to 
understand and know that whatever you want or whoever you want, you already have them. Okay. But first, we need to get past this wounded warrior um, <clears throat> victim mentality, right? There are no victims here, Virgo. Um, not in, not, not here. <laughs> not at this tarot reading. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not allow you to play the victim this time, okay? So there are no victims in life. There are no wounded warriors. There is only the strong that continue to keep going and to continue to love and to continue to learn and to learn that to play the victim is to blame someone else when everything that we are experiencing is part of something that comes from within you. You create these lessons so that you can grow. Your soul creates them so that it can grow and evolve. And whether you believe that or not, it's the truth. So, and if you found this message, then it's because you needed to hear it. So, you know, believe it or don't believe it, it takes a long time to get here. And I wish someone would have told me this, you know, years ago, it would have saved me so much heartache. You know, every single time I experience anything that feels like a setback, I used to blame the universe or God or other people. And now I see it's something that I created for myself in order to evolve my soul to its highest potential. And so I don't see it as a setback, but I see it as a beautiful lesson and a way to move forward. Okay. So, and if you can look at life like that, Virgo, it'll save you a hell of a lot of pain and suffering. Okay. See everything as an evolution. King of Cups. So see, even though you may have experienced a heartbreak, somebody is open and ready to give you a cup of love. The question is, are you ready to receive that love? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, oh, see, can't make it up. There's the Ace of Cups. So you have a new connection coming in. Look, and after that, the sun. Look at that. All right, we have the King of Cups. Let's go back. Where's the King of Cups? Where'd you go, King of Cups? Right here. So there is a masculine counterpart that is ready to offer a cup of love. They have the Ace of Cups, which represents a new connection and a new relationship, okay? One that will overflow. Your cup will run it over, Right? And there's the happily ever after, the sun, right? <clears throat> it's Leo energy, but it's also the sun. It's happily ever after. Everything working out for you. You just have to trust the process. Trust the heartache, Virgo. What are you learning from the heartache? Are you learning something from it? Because if not, then why are you here? <laughs> why are you watching me? <laughs> I'm teaching soul evolution here, Virgo. Take it or leave it. If you found me, then you're trying to grow your soul, okay? I teach soul evolution here at this YouTube channel. We don't play the victim. We, we play uh, with energy. We play our highest state of consciousness. We, ooh, 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 something flew out for you, Virgo. Queen of Wands, see? <clears throat> there is a high level of passion coming in, in with this connection, okay? Queen of Wands is fire sign energy. King of Cups, so that would be Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with those fire signs. Or the King of Cups represents a water sign, so it would be Cancer, Scorpio, um, the other water sign. Pisces? Yeah. Justice. Okay, so justice is about getting what you deserve, whether you like it or not. It's about taking an honest evaluation of your life and seeing, do you like the reflection that's reflecting back at you, Virgo? Do you like what you see? Do you like what your soul looks like? Do you like what your heart looks like? Okay, it's not about your physical perception of yourself. It could be, 
But this is more about the evolution of your soul. Do you like what your soul looks like? Do you like what your heart reflects back at you? Because if you don't, then now is the time to make some changes, Virgo, right? You have someone filled with passion for you. And if you believe you deserve it and your patience, there we have patience, and you learn to balance your energy of light and dark, your angel team is literally guiding you into another connection, one better suited to your soul's evolution, okay? This is a soul connection. I keep hearing soul connection. Okay, let's get a final outcome. The chariot. Wow. So yes, yeah, some of you could be dealing with the, a water sign. This is Cancerian energy, but it's also about traveling. So your person may live um, far away from you. You guys might be at a, at a physical distance. You might be at an emotional distance. Um, but this is about traveling and moving forward. Okay. You might have to physically travel to see your person, Virgo. Or they might have to travel to see you. Eight of Cups. So let's be careful to not be stuck in this energy of the past, Virgo. You have this beautiful new connection coming in. And... <clears throat> In order to move forward with this new connection, you're going to have to leave all of those cups of love that you have for the other person in the dust. Okay? You're going to have to light that bitch on fire and let it go. Let it go. Leave it in the water where it belongs. Feel those emotions. The water represents the emotions. Feel those emotions, right? Then set them on fire and let them go. And walk towards this new state of enlightenment. This new state of peace and bliss. Which is waiting for you with this new connection. Okay. We're going to pull one final card. What's the outcome for Virgo in this new connection please? Look again. Again Virgo the sun. Happily ever after. Do not mess this up Virgo. Okay. Okay. Walk towards the path of enlightenment and let all the good things come to you with this chariot. Look, this is all about balancing light and dark, light and dark, right? Balancing, balancing. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. I just heard Libra, okay? So that's how you'll know that this is for you and this is talking about your person. We have Libra energy. We have Cancerian energy. We have um, Scorpio, Pisces, fire signs. We have pretty much all the signs here except for Earth, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, right? Allow yourself to be taken away with this passion and this fire, okay, walk towards this enlightened path and at the end is your happily ever after whether it's alone or with this person look on the bottom of the deck you have the fool you have the opportunity for a fresh start with someone but you gotta let those eight of cups you gotta let those those cups go all right let's see we're moving on we're gonna go i'm gonna do some gypsy which cards for you? And then we're going to do the Earth Magic, a couple of Earth Magic cards, and we're going to call this a reading. Virgo. Okay, what else do we have for. Whoa, holy shit. All these cards just going flying out. <laughs> All right. What do we have for Virgo? Virgo. Ooh. There we go. Look, jealousy. So this new connection is going to be so good. People are going to be jealous of... Oh, my cat wants to get out. Hold on. Come on, baby. Over here. This way. There you go. Go. There you go. Bitey, watch out. No, leave them alone. Go. 
okay, Dean. Go ahead, mommy. All right. So this this new connection that comes in, people are going to be jealous because it's going to be um, it's going to be a soul connection, and people are going to want what you have. Okay. Your ex could be jealous as well. Look at that, Maladi. So, Malady, <laughs> this warns of sickness. If you've been worried, sick about, um, about this past connection, it's time to let that go. So, what can happen if you do not release anxiety and worries about your love life? You can literally make yourself sick, Virgo. Like, you don't want to do that, right? This can predict sickness. You're getting too much in your head about this heartbreak and this connection when you should be focusing on where this new connection is going to come in. And I'm telling you, it's going to be so much better suited for you. Trust it. Trust the process. There's no sense in making yourself sick. We have officers. So for some of you, your person could be um, a naval officer military person or maybe this is your energy that's how you'll know that this reading is for you it doesn't necessarily have to represent someone you know in the army or you know like that it could be um they could be a security officer a police officer wow we have lover see and this person has a uniform on too so somehow they are um an official type person so police officer, security officer, um, something along those lines, naval officer, army, sergeant, military person. Whew. All right. And look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Boom. This new connection that's coming in has the potential for marriage. This new connection that's coming in, they want something stable with you, Virgo. All right, let's go ahead and pull some Earth Magic cards for you. I feel like these are going to be really good for you because you are an Earth sign and you are very tied to the Earth anyways. All right, what else? What is a final message for Virgo? Find a message for Virgo. Connecting to my guides and Virgo's guides. Lightning and power. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Virgo and the collective. Wow. So this is a extremely powerful connection that's coming in. It could be a twin flame connection. I don't know. Feels very magnetic. DNA, Dharma. Please. Sorry about that, Virgo. There's a lot of background noise. My child just came in here. They have no sense of boundaries. DNA. <laughs> Karma. All right. So, um, the last connection that you had was just a karmic lesson, okay? That's why it was a very... The connection feels very strong, so... It definitely could have been like a false twin, false twin, false twin. Yeah, it definitely could have been like a false twin. And I'm not saying that those connections don't serve their purpose. They usually are a catalyst to propel us into massive amounts of healing so that we can meet our real twin flame or twin soul, right? So while the karmic lessons are painful, this new connection, look, this is reminding me of the, <clears throat> not just the DNA, the double helix, right? It's an activation of your light body. That's why I said this new connection feels very twin flamey. We have lightning power. This reminds me of the kundalini energy that is activated right before you meet your twin flame. So take that how it resonates.
I'm sorry, there's a lot of background noise. These kids are... We're going to pull one final card. What's the final message that we have for this beautiful Virgo connection? Dawn, new beginnings. I told you, there's your new beginning. There's your new connection. Just be patient and hold out for it, my beautiful Virgo. I promise you, there are so many great things on the horizon. Let this old connection go. It's no longer serving you. If you want to book a reading with me, um, go ahead and click in the description box below my videos and click on the Goldie Appointment Fix. If something resonated, please like, please subscribe. Both are free. It really helps me to grow my channel. I love you, Virgo.